Why, thank you, Archibald. Oh, and by the way, did we ever catch those ragamuffins that were stealing our sugar plums? Oh, pardon me. I didn't notice you were there. Welcome back, old bean. Today we're going to learn about qualitative analysis, a process that scientists use to identify unknown chemical compounds. So please join me in this next riveting edition of the Sherlock Holmes Organic Chemistry Fancy Pants Theta. The process scientists use to identify unknown chemical compounds is called qualitative analysis. Today we will use it to diagnose our own mystery unknown, compound X. Qualitative analysis is used in everything from tracing toxins to finding potential medicines from plants. The first step in the process is detecting special arrays of atoms called functional groups. A drop of Jones reagent ought to do it. This will test for a hydroxyl group, a hydrogen and oxygen paired together. Bingo! In the next step, we heat the liquid to determine its boiling temperature. Now we force the liquid to solidify, also called precipitation. Excess water is then suctioned away. We now have a dry solid, perfect for finding a melting temperature. At this point, we turn to fancier equipment. The mass spectrometer determines the molecular weight of our compound. Finally, we turn to NMR, nuclear magnetic resonance. The NMR emits a powerful magnetic field. This reveals the basic structure of the molecule. Pop goes the sample. Now it's time for some process of elimination. Hopefully, all the data we saw, functional groups, boiling and melting points, molecular mass, and structure will yield our answer. And there it is, ethanol. The same compound you'll find in a glass of your finest Cabernet Sauvignon. Yeah, indeed. Uh, thank you, Squire. Well, that certainly was interesting, wasn't it? Now we know how to identify the rotting contents of that jar in the refrigerator, don't we? <laughs> yeah, put that in your pipe and smoke it.